Now, what is up, everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I just got done watching the first trailer for Halloween 2018. This is something that I am greatly anticipating. I'm so very much looking forward to. And this trailer pretty much gave me everything that I wanted to see. And now I am even more excited if that was possible. I thought it was a great trailer. The beginning of it, where you see these investigators going to this facility because they want to see Michael interact with him. Michael's been locked away for 40 years, they say. Why would you do this? <laughs> like even, I know curiosity, I know, hey, we're doing a story. I know people probably do this, but it's just, it just sounds crazy. I will say that the scene of them uh, walking in there and the dogs and all of the other crazy inmates reacting to them bringing out their original Michael Myers mask uh, Michael facing the other way I almost can't wait to see if we see his reaction to it or I don't know uh, the way how that was played out even though it was broad daylight it looked creepy it was effective uh, that quick moment of those teenagers talking about Michael Myers and the one of them's like hey uh, wasn't that Lori's uh, brother and the girl says no that's just something that people made up I remember reading about this a couple months ago and I didn't know what to think about it. Just the idea that, oh yeah, they're not brother and sister anymore. We're doing away with everything that happened from part two on. Uh, a part of me understands that. You can't continue from part two really because he burned to the ground and yeah, they continued and just say, oh yeah, he has some scars. but. It makes sense, I guess, to just do away with it. And if you're going to do away with them being brother and sister, it's hard for me to cope with that because that's so ingrained in my head when it comes to Michael and Lori, they're brother and sister. That's just one and the same. So I have to get myself used to the idea that they're not. Uh, the original movie never said it. So I guess it's really John Carpenter who's like, no, I never wanted that. Things happened and it became that. So, fine. I am at least happy that it was addressed, that it was brought up in any way, because they could have just ignored it. So, bringing it up definitely worked. Lori Strode! Jimmy Lee Curtis is a badass! I love the moment where she says, I've been praying for him to break out because I wanted to kill him. And you see her training herself with the shotgun and, 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 and shooting targets and doing all these things. She's prepared. This is something... That if you rewatch the original movie and even Halloween 2, even though it's not connected, but still Lori was never, she was always the victim. She was always screaming. She was always running away. And that's fine. She's a teenager. It makes sense. But I love the idea of her becoming stronger, her becoming prepared and capable and willing to take down this motherfucker if she has to and the part where the bus crashes and michael breaks out did the trailer show too much as far as what's going to happen um, some people might say that but at the same time we know probably that he's going to break out and and maybe they shouldn't have showed how it happened but it's fine there's still so much more that's going to happen i bet they do show him going to get the woman in the bathroom and that's how he gets the mask he took out the repair man and took his clothes because he has to have that jumpsuit right and then i love the moment where the little kid on halloween in costume runs up to michael and you hear that original sound that whatever <laughs> whatever that sound is that carpenter made himself they brought that back and that was really nice to see laurie I guess it's going to be like the Sam Loomis, somebody who knows about Michael, knows how dangerous he is, warning everybody about him, trying to protect people. I even think her shooting what looks like Michael in the window of that house, I think we're going to see it wasn't Michael. It's like when Loomis accidentally got that kid killed and she's going to accidentally shoot someone else. That's just a theory. I could be wrong. I don't know if they're going to try to make Michael immortal again. He does seem a lot more human. And that's fine with me as well. You could treat him as just a psychopath. That was something I enjoyed about the Rob Zombie movie. Don't, don't hate me. 
but just the idea of Michael just being a regular guy and and he's crazy, he's psychotic. That's seemingly what they're going with here. And there's obviously going to be a showdown between Michael and Laurie. We see that. I hope they don't kill Laurie again because I've seen that one too many times. And also that very last scene of the girl, I don't know if she's a babysitter or what, but the kid saying close the closet door. She tries to do it. She can't. It's stuck on something. She opens it. Michael's there and he comes out. That was creepy. That I think is effective. I think this movie is going to work. It's going to be scary. It's going to be something that I am probably going to love hopefully. So guys, let me know in the comments below what do you think of this Halloween trailer? Do you think it looks great? Are you surprised that it's just called Halloween? That there's no special title for it? Halloween Returns, Michael Return. Well, they probably already had that. <laughs> what would you call it if you could? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later.